Hello, this is James, and Yami Bakura has returned to the world of Duel Links. What do I mean by that, and why do I seem so happy? Yami Bakura was like the coolest, creepiest character in Yu-Gi-Oh! And in Duel Links, he became completely neutered. Uh, they did this with Maximilian Pegasus, the same thing. Maximilian Pegasus would say, Oh, I don't think I'll be capturing anyone's souls and putting them into a card so you don't have to worry. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And, and Yami Bakura basically lost his edge, but now he is back and he is kidnapping people and doing weird game based things to their bodies. Look at poor Tristan. He turned him into a little, a little figurine that is clearly disgruntled with his situation. So this bodes well for the future of some more story events in Duel Links. So let's drill into this tabletop RPG monster world that now has stakes, that now has a prince to be rescued. And how do we rescue him? We navigate through the tabletop RPG monster world. You can click on the yellow squares, click on the open squares, and get into dice battles, which are just, you know, you just roll the dice. It's, it's not a huge deal. Twin rods with three HP. Uh, so you get you get you have uh, one one to ten dice, and then you you roll it against your opponent, and then if if they survive that turn, then they can roll their dice against you. And as you advance floors, you'll get more dice and also face stronger opponents that also have more dice. But don't worry, I mean this is this is pretty easy. Ooh, E level up. Uh, so E level is event level that increases my maximum stamina, increases my max HP, and gives me new deck. So I am E level 2, I now have dragon deck, level 10, obtain, let's go ahead and set that. And you know the benefit of these decks is that Komani is going to give us a preview of the new box. So that is going to be dope. Alright, so we move through the area, we click on the little, the little yellow squares, and then we have not a dice battle, but the final boss of a level is a duel. Yes, Yami Bakura, I know. I do dare. Mist of the Feeble. Uh, let's go ahead and auto duel this. Uh, so, you'll get moving through this, you'll pick up extra dice for your, for your mid-level boss battles. And I, su I suggest you save them. You really don't have to use any of the items at all um, uh, only you only because stamina is available for purchase you only need to purchase stamina if you really want to turbo through the event uh, but Komani is is rather generous you can complete this as a free to play I promise all right so there is our auto duel victory against Tudu Pudin nice to see you again Tudu Pudin okay goodbye get out uh, now, having defeated the boss, and seeing that there's nothing behind him, we completed Area 2, we gained 200 coins, and that, and, and so it will go until we defeat roughly, ooh, what's this, a story? That looks like story. An old man stands by the road. He sighs. No, it's Merrick. Peace ruled this land for years. But Dark Master Zork got rid of our king. That's that's Bakura for sure. And turned the castle into a stronghold of evil. Wicked monsters began to appear around the world and devoured many villages. The old man suddenly vanishes. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh, the old man. Okay, this is this is all this is all super good. My enjoyment is genuine. So we're gonna have our area completion reward list. Uh, we're gonna get some coins, we're gonna get some gems, as many gems as people would probably like, but that's okay. They're still trying to push the Berserk Gorilla, I don't know why. Um, maybe for intro players, and then we get these card sleeves that are not the greatest. Uh, the, the, the free to play card sleeves still have yet to top the dual quest card sleeves. Those are real slick, I really like the, the true black. Uh, but you know, it's 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 just free extra stuff. All right, so let's see. Oh, and we don't. It seems like we don't have as many, or maybe more areas will be revealed. But in the old tabletop RPG, we had up to like 30 levels, and then we went into Area Infinity, which is just you play as much as you want. 
Uh, so I guess we're only limited to 15, or maybe more will be revealed. Anyway, all of this is, and then here's your support items. Uh, you get some potions, you get some large potions. Uh, you always save your items just for when you want to blast them all out at the end. Especially your support dice, uh, because in the later levels, consuming boss, consuming the, the dice battles, will, or engaging the dice battles consumes stamina, and it's, it's, it's better to just plus one your dice and, and steamroll the boss rather than waste, you know, five or six or seven stamina. Senri Eye allows you to view all the squares, and you can purchase EX stamina that goes into a special stamina pool. It doesn't go into your max stamina. It's not the pink stamina. It's the EX stamina. You can get 40 for a dollar, 200 for four dollars for a savings of a dollar. Uh, but based on the past tabletop RPG, you really don't need to do that. And this is all in service of, well, not of course, it's not just saving Tristan. That would be silly. Um, this is for the lottery. So we're going to collect these lottery coins. And we have some new lottery rewards. So our old favorites, Dark Master Zork, which actually, if you didn't have them, if you, uh, if you, were, if you were watching my Dark Master Zork video enviously, now you can have them. And this card is much more fun than we originally felt that he would be, uh, especially run with uh, Alexis's skill, Master of Rituals, I think it's Master of Rituals too. Anyway, Dark Master Zork, you got a full board clear and it, and it feels, it feels good. It's sur Dark Master Zork surprisingly satisfying to play with and it's weird to say that about a card game. Another Dijin, so this guy you can banish him for a ritual summon, for three stars of a ritual summon, up to three stars rather. If the player Ritual Summons using this card, the Ritual Summon monster cannot be targeted by the card effects of the other player. That's actually pretty good for a free-to-play Dijin. Uh, Wing Sage Falcos is horrible. Uh, white Skilled White Magician. We don't use Skilled Blue Magician. Uh, Royal Keeper. Okay, the rest of the... Royal Keeper is kind of interesting. Sort of. But most of this is filler besides... Um, again, Dark Master's Dork. You don't already have him. The Jin Demolisher's Rituals is, is worth getting. And an Umbra Mirage, another Elemental Lord, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by having exactly five Dark Monsters in your graveyard. Cyber Darks. Cyber Darks. And look, it even searches Cyber Darks. Add one monster with 15 or less attack from your deck to your hand. So you can special summon this and then uh, grab out another Cyber Dark that equips a dragon. And then you can, um, or you can special summon two and then summon your Cyber Dark, and then you can have lethal damage very easily, assuming that you have some means of dealing with the back row. That'll make for a fun cheese deck. And while we're here, let's do, oh, and every day you get 10 free pools. So let's, let's do our 10 free pools and see what kind of, what kind of stuff we get. Okay, so no lightning bolt, that means nothing interesting. Oh! And we're getting EX jewels. So basically, oh, we got a lot of EX jewels. Basically, all of the lottery rewards are available from the EX trader. Okay, no lightning bolt. Okay. Uh, oh, and then we have we get between one and ten gems. One, five, or ten gems is possible as a drop. All of the lottery cards are available as EX trader items. Uh, so you only need to get two of whatever card it is, and you can get the third one from the EX Trader, which is, now that I think about it, that's how Konami trades the event cards. But they should do that for every event. That's okay. But then, but then the EX Jewels would get in the Ray of the Gems. Okay, so we didn't get, all right, no Umbra Mirages, no, uh, no of the free-to-play Dijins. That's fine. We got plenty of time. Uh, we're not gonna do another dice battle. Let's take a look. Let's take, let's, let's take a little mosey over to yeah here he is nope 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 no. here's the here's the 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 richer brother of the card trader so here we have uh all of our nice rewards and my recommendation for the approach to the ex trader is uh, so don't worry about these rares you're gonna have tons of these rares and these normals and, and the gold okay i mean i guess maybe some people need gold but I, I i know a lot of people have so much gold that they're complaining about it so the uh the EX, EX Trader 
basically don't use him until the end of the event. Don't use him at all until the end of the event, and then use him to to fill in uh, whatever whatever cards you need. So if I, you know, at the end of the event, I have three Umbra Mirage and two Dijun Demolisher Ritual, and like two Wing Sage of Falcos, which I actually do have right now. Uh, you know, I don't I ignore the Umbra Mirage, and then I get a Dijun, and if I have gems left over, then or jewels left over, I get my. Wing Sage of, of Falcos, and then he's 300, what? Okay, whatever. And then, once you have that, once you have your cards all picked out, go ahead and get these Power Crystals. Don't, don't sleep on these Power Crystals, they're great for uh, very difficult to farm duelists. You don't care about the Power Crystals now, but looking forward in the future, like if we have a second Inglorious Bastion event, Having an extra card, having the extra life, having the results booster uh, helps you get more rewards and just helps you farm cards in the future. So once you have all of your ultra rare super rares, then get these five of each power crystal, which is actually a pretty good deal for only 50 ultra rare gems. I know, it, I know it's all like free to play. Uh, it's all just fake virtual stuff anyway. Uh, and then you, and you can only get these once. So make sure uh, you budget 200 EX Jewels for, well this one's not so important. So 150 EX Jewels, get all your Power Crystals, get all your Ultra Rares, and I think that that is going to be it. This looks like, I really enjoyed the last Tabletop RPG Monster World, I mean once we once we got through uh, this, this other stuff, once we got through the, 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 these kind of beginning stages. Because they show off the decks. They used the Monster Hunter World Tabletop RPG as an opportunity to showcase some decks from the new main box. I know we just had the update, so we're probably going to get leaks like tonight, like immediately following this video. We're going to have leaks. But we're actually going to be able to play with the deck in advance of the box release, I think, uh, through, through this event. So look forward to that. Thank you for watching.